Hi, this is Steve here, and in this video I'm going to take you through uh, adding shopping cart functionality to uh, a standard website, and we're going to be using PayPal to do that. And so you obviously need a PayPal account, and you need to log into your PayPal account and go to Merchant Services, and then you should see this screen here. And what we're going to be doing is selling multiple items. So we click the Sell Multiple Items link here. That opens up here, and our default button type is Shopping Cart, and we're going to be creating a series of but buttons which we're going to assign to our, our products. And I've actually already created the the buttons that I want to use, but I'm going to create a test one here. Um, the ones I'm going to use actually call basic shop course and advanced shop course and we just call this test course we give it an item ID we don't have to but I it makes it easier to track later and we give it a price I'm gonna make this one a pound and there's the button that it, as it's going to appear here now you may want to make it smaller and which you can do here use a smaller button you can see it go there but I'm going to leave it actually as the normal button because I've uh, already do already created them um, if you have your own images you can actually use your own images you have to point it to the URL here by typing in the URL of the image so you could have an image of a shopping cart if you've got an image of a shopping cart okay and then scroll down here and I don't have a merchant account and you probably don't either so we're going to use your or my PayPal email address and that's all we need to do now uh, there are advanced options that you can explore down here but we just create create button here and it shows us the HTML now all we need to do is select the code and then hit control C to copy it and then we're going to copy it into a web page and we can go on and create similar buttons by clicking create similar buttons or we can create a brand new button there now we need a, a view card button as well so we need to go and create a view card button so if we go there create a view card button this is a very simple one we only just have to tick the box there that says PayPal button or again use a smaller button or use your own image and then click create button and again it will generate some HTML code which we need to copy and paste now we only need one view car card button we'll need several um, shopping cart buttons uh, for our different products so we need one for each product now I've just actually gone back a little bit I paused the video and went back a little bit because I wanted to show you something um, when you've actually created these buttons they're automatically saved and you can click here this go to my saved buttons icon oh, sorry link and you can see here we've got a load of buttons I've already created and saved and I can edit these so I can edit the button view the code create a small similar button delete the button or create a new button from it so once you've created the buttons they're actually saved on the PayPal system and you can go back and you can edit those buttons so now I've actually got the buttons I've actually created the buttons for the advanced shop the basic shop and what's not shown here is I've created one for the um, the view shopping cart it doesn't show it save it as a button and so now we're going to go and uh, and insert those buttons into our web page and put that web page on the, on the internet so I'll just pause the video video here and go to my web page editor so here we are at the web page editor I'm actually using front page and I've created a, a dummy page with a bit of text and a couple of icons where I'm going to put my um, uh, shopping cart buttons and so now all I need to do is take those buttons that I've actually copied in the or copy the HTML and paste it into there now I'm going to have to go into the code mode here to the HTML to do this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the add to shopping cart buttons next to the product images and at the top of the page I'm going to put a, a view cart uh, button up there so let's do that now okay we're going to start with the the view cart button so let's go into the code mode I want it right at the top so I'm going to put it in here paste it in there and take a quick look at it there it is there now I'm just going to move it across so it actually goes right across to the right hand side 
and there it is there that's that one done quite easy okay now I've got the code for the the next one and let's go into the HTML next to that image and I paste it in there and there it is appearing just underneath there uh, it's that text I entered into the thing I'll just put that up here okay so that's edited there now I've got the code for the next one and go back to code mode again and insert it after the image there and take a quick look and again that text that's there there's shouldn't really be there it should be up here okay and we're done so now that's our basic page now I'm just going to upload that page up to the server and then we're going to test it out okay so here is a page up on our server so you can see it's actually on a live site so let's buy this course here add to cart you get the standard PayPal screen and then we can proceed to check out continue shopping I'm going to continue shopping and let's find the other one so now I've got two in my shopping cart and if I want to I can remove remove them here so let's uh, update the cart and remove that one so it's gone let's continue shopping again and if at any stage I want to view the cart that I've already got I just click view cart and that shows me the cart there so there we have it very very easy to actually implement a very basic shopping cart system uh, using PayPal and add it to your to your website okay that's the end of this video until next time bye